You know what would help with that? Hot chocolate. I think my dog wants some too. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Creative Times with Carm. Today, we're going to be making hot chocolate. And just like with the brownie video, we're going to make one not only for ourselves, but for someone else as well. So, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we are going to need cocoa powder, marshmallows, sugar, salt, I love the candy canes and our milk or liquid ingredients. Okay, so we are going to grab a bowl and I forgot to grab a spoon, so I'm going to go and do that. All right, <laughs> so we're going to put one and a quarter cup of sugar into our bowl. Let's do that. It's so large, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get. No, I won't. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is grab my quarter cup. Just add to it. <laughs> like that. Okay, put our cup in. And then our quarter cup. I'm gonna do a little bit less than that. So now that our sugar is in, we're going to put in our cocoa powder. And we're going to put in three quarter cups of cocoa powder. So, one, two, and that's three. Now that we have our cocoa powder in, we're gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. So, this is a, whoops. This is a full teaspoon, but I can't find my quarter teaspoon, so I'm just gonna try and measure in that. I'm gonna dump a little bit of that. There we go, okay. Salt. And we are going to stir this. Okay, now that we got out most of the, oh, I see one. Most of the lumps, we're gonna put this aside and get out our candy canes. I have four. And with our candy canes, we're going to open them up. Get them open, oh. I'll break them, that's okay. Because we're gonna break them anyways, so. We're gonna open them in whatever way that you can. Mine's being difficult. Okay, it didn't like that I said that. Now that my candy canes are out of the package, I'm just placing them onto some parchment paper. All right, now that they are on the parchment paper, we are going to try and crush them up into tiny little pieces. Um, heavy on the word try. <laughs> okay guys, so after a little while of trying to crush my candy canes, I realized there's a smarter way to do that. So I put them in a Ziploc bag and I am going to crush them in this that way they stop flying all around the place for me. So I'll be right back with my crushed candy cane. Now that we have our crushed candy canes, we are going to just go ahead and pour them into our bowl. All right, now that we have our candy canes mixed in with our hot chocolate, we will use our marshmallows. All right, so I'm just gonna open my bag. 
you're just gonna pour in to a separate bowl. that make them such much more appealing. I think it's because they're so small. They're so cute. All right, now with the marshmallows, you can either put them full like this into your hot chocolate mix or you can cut them up a bit. I'm just gonna put them in full. So we're just gonna jump them and mix them. Now that we have finished putting in our marshmallows, we can put it into our mixing jar. So, I'm just going to use a spoon because that seems like the safest option right now to put it in without making a huge mess, but I will do it over my bowl. Alright, now that we have put our hot chocolate mix for someone else into a jar, we can decorate it if you want to. I am just going to put my lid on and I have this piece of kind of cloth thing. So I'm just going to put it on there and put the lid on. And once you have got it. <laughs> once you have decorated your jar to your liking, we can attach the rest of the instructions and a little Merry Christmas sign. I have this linked down below for you guys so you can print it off and attach it to your mason jars that you made. All right, so I'm just gonna cut these out and then just like with the brownie one, I'm gonna glue on my instructions to the back. So I'll be right back. All right, I have cut out my little Merry Christmas tag and on the back I have glued on the directions um, for what to do with this. It's quite simple. We are going to add in two tablespoons of our mix to one cup of the liquid of your choice. Now that I have printed that out and cut it and glued it, I'm going to tie it to my jar. Now that we've finished our jar of um, hot chocolate powder for someone else, we can enjoy some for ourselves. So I still have some chocolate powder mix left over. And I'm gonna make myself some. I'm so excited. So first things first, you're gonna pour yourself up a heated one cup of liquid. I am using macadamia milk. So I'm going to pour in one cup. Into my mug. And I'm going to go and heat this up. Alright, now that I have my cup of warm milk that I just spilled on my hand, paper towel. Oh. 
That was a lot of paper towel. Well, I can use it to clean up my area afterwards. Okay, now that I have my warm milk, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of my hot chocolate powder. Before I take a sip, I'm just gonna add in a couple more marshmallows. And now it's time to try it. Oh. There is nothing like a nice warm cup of hot chocolate. It's so good. All right guys, I hope you find someone to give your hot chocolate mix to. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. See you guys next Thursday. Bye! Wow, oh, that hit my nose. Yes!